Welcome to our card pool today. We are going to see what is it that we are manifesting into our life right now. So we're going to use the Oracle of the Fairies. And I'm actually going to dive deep into the guidebook with this one. So I'm going to give you a prime example from the actual cards that I pull. And so today I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the card deck. Shuffling the card deck here. Those of you new to my channel, I'm Brittany Hiller. I'm your Manifesting Maven. I'm the author and creator of Manifesting Maven. You can find that beautiful book on Amazon, as well as my children's book, The Laughing Yogini. So today we are going to pull a card from the fairies deck. I'm going to go ahead and split the deck already. These two want to come out. I'm going to put those aside. And then we're going to try for one more because what I'm doing here is I'm pulling three today. So let's go ahead and see what we get. So for all of you watching, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to appreciate this message that is coming to you today. Okay. So what I'm being called to do here is just take from the top. Just take from the top. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. Put the deck aside. Place it there. Do a nice little cleanse first of these three cards with our singing bowl. Nice little sound. Yes. Okay. Let's receive our message. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's receive our message today. So our message today is this coming straight from the fairies. What are we manifesting in our life? What are we manifesting in our life? Wow. Interesting. Wait for winter. What is this message for us? Wait for winter. Okay. This is during the colder months. Fairy queen of the manifest your most heartfelt and intentions are for the highest good of all. So if you're looking to manifest here saying to you going up yet going up yet continue to work for and towards it for winter right so in winter it is on its way to you this is a very interesting message and i did want to get a little bit deeper into this message utilizing the book right the guidebook here so let's see what it has to say it says that wishes or spiritual seeds made in your heart will come to fruition during the winter months, emerging like winter berries, ripe and full of promise. The fairy queen of winter with snowflakes on her wings comes to remind you to keep your faith, to remember that all wishes, like seeds, grow in darkness until they're ready to burst forth. Are you ready wishes? Part of the wishing process is to prepare yourself for their manifestation. So maybe you're asking for something currently that you're not yet ready to receive. Maybe in this moment, it's time for you to get your ducks in order before you begin to receive it, right? Ooh. <laughs> this could involve removing any psychic ties or spiritual obstacles that have been holding you back from the full realization and birthing of your dreams into this earthly realm. Wherever you live in the world, you'll know the fairy queen of winter is nearby. When the weather turns cooler, day for me. or when you see pushing up through the this is a sound wishes too are soon to bloom. That our wishes don't always matter the way we've envisioned. They will they will come to be in whichever way is per concerned for all. Yes, so. When we do share this in my book, Manifesting, even when we do do take the time to share all that you're grateful and thankful for in terms of the gift you receive. Let's go where number two card down. Ooh, life energy. Okay, life energy in reverse. But I'll show you the beauty, the beautiness of the card. Life energy in reverse. So in reverse, typically means for a happy sunshine, lots of life giving energy to in your light and to be healed. Mm, what this is for first is because winter it won't be a very sun that we were stations, right? It'll be in more of the darker time. 
and all, right? The winter. Go ahead and a little bit more. Life energy. The fairy of sunshine. Abundance giving light and energy. Perhaps you've been feeling shy or lacking in con or because it's in reverse, maybe you have this confidence and perhaps you've gotten into a space where you're just beginning to now feel less confident due to the fact that you find that your manifestation is not coming as fast as you want it to. And so perhaps you're starting to feel a little um, doubtful in receiving the manifestation you desire. So that is our message today with this life energy. So if so, this golden fairy says it's your time to shine, right? It's your time to shine. Sometimes we hide our light for fear of being seen and feeling vulnerable. This is quite normal, but it serves us neither spiritually. Light also exposes any issues shadows that yield and released allowing the process to happen once these issues are there's no need to dwell upon them anymore guys and on so far you have already released of these feelings of views and you might find through the process or attempted to again go back into doubt so for us today that we need to get outside, we need to appreciate our yes. But let's go ahead and see the next one, light. Our third message is light. Fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Let's see what the ultimate message is, right, from the book. Oh, this is so good. So we have light and life energy. Okay. Love and light and all things bright will remove your fears in the darkest night. This is a message direct from the fairy queen of light. Light is your protection. It casts away any shadows, and wherever it shines, the truth will ultimately be revealed. Manifestation mm, will ultimately show up life, and this is fabulous. So let's talk a little bit about that. The fairy queen of light also comes to remind you that you are light indeed. She stands in the dark forest, as you can see, yet she is shining. She is bright. Her light travels far so she can find her way clearly through the darkness. If you feel as though you can't find your own light, she will offer you one of her lamps to illuminate her path and your path and the path of others who need to discover their own inner light. So what's so fascinating is that this is an opportunity for you to and that whatever it is manifesting, you are able to then share that and allow that light to You're going to actually, with this manifestation that you're pillar of light as well as lift them up. You're a beacon, so don't forget that. It isn't just that we're manifesting something ourselves, but the manifestation that we are is definitely a tool to assist in their life as well. Fairy light has a different quality to other light. It contains particles that no expose the truth, reveal the beauty of a and see from it. Nothing can be hidden. And the shadows. Nothing harsh about revealing light. The fairy. Shines gently. But persistently. Until only the truth remains. That when we. The darkness. Ourselves without. The light can remain. A part of our seeing. And our experience. So were um, best for you and I, I cannot wait to did you and again subscribe like follow and comment below so that you're enjoying the as well and to manifest in the winter right because the first card was wait for winter 
<clears throat> so right now what you're doing is you're doing the work. You're doing the work of creation and this manifestation will show itself to you in the winter. So I cannot wait to hear what that is for you. Until then, my friends, have a beautiful day and I will see you again soon. Bye.